other day that in Israel they recently introduced the world's first kosher mobile phone, which uh, I'm sure came as a huge relief to all those Jews who have been forced to use non-kosher phones, uh, presumably made out of pork. Yes, well, apparently what, what makes this phone kosher is it doesn't have any features, right? Like it doesn't have the SMS, the internet access cameras, because they can potentially tempt Jews into sin. Mm, and uh, now the rabbinical authorities in Israel have just set up their own phone network where, uh, I swear we're not making this up, Calls to kosher phones are much cheaper than calls to non-kosher phones. Yes, in fact, if we, if we have a look at the pricing plan, uh, kosher calls are roughly 20 cents a minute, calls to heathens are 23 cents a minute. <laughs> Heaven help you if you want to call a Palestinian. And uh, I think it's great. It's great that Orthodox Jews now have their own phone network. It's about time. It is. And uh, as part of it, they even have their own 0055 phone chat lines, which are brilliant. Um, check out their ads. Hot rabbis are standing by now, waiting for your call. Hundreds of fun single rabbis who just love talking Hebrew. Call 1-800-JUICY and choose from our range of Orthodox, Ultra-Orthodox and Ultra-Unorthodox. The Rabbi Phone Chat Line. It's like your own private synagogue waiting to happen. Now, given how many of Anna Curran's segues we've presented so far, you'd be forgiven for thinking that all Anna does is clunky segues. But, oh, no, 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 no. There is much more to Anna Curran than that. Is. She also does meaningless gibberish. <laughs> That's right, we now present the most confusing introduction to a report ever written. Lawyers don't laugh, at least not in public, when they're pursuing a little guy and the bill is being paid by a big corporation. There's much more of that right across Australia these days. Rowan Wen with the answer to what's in a name. And that report was, of course, about starfish. And uh, we, we actually found out who scripted that surreal bit of nonsense. It turns out it was originally a Beatles outtake, done when the group was savagely off their tits. Lawyers don't laugh, at least not in public, when they're pursuing a little guy and the bill's being paid. By a big corporation, there's a lot more of that Right across Australia these days <laughs> Go and win with the answer to what's in a name Go and win with the answer to what's in a name Go and win with the answer to what's in a name <laughs> what do you think of that, Yoko? <laughs> well, uh, sadly, once again, that is just about it for another week. Uh, any plans for the rest of the week, guys? Well, I was hoping to go raving, actually, because obviously I am such a raver. Clearly. But it's very hard to find a good rave venue these days. It is, because I think I read the, you know, the scene sort of dwindled a bit. The underground scene's dwindled since the police started cracking down on drugs and so forth. Yeah, no, it's not 1998 anymore, but luckily there are still a few venues pumping out hardcore techno house. And believe it or not, most of them are retail stores. Really? Retail stores? Yeah, it's true. Basically, you go into any store these days, especially clothing ones, and they're blaring out loud techno beats. So, what better place for you and your dance mates to throw your next rave? <laughs> Let's get one day!
reminder, you can catch Fatboy Slim playing live at Supre this New Year's Eve. Check out the tour dates on your screen there now. And